guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. And I have some good news. I received my package in the mail. So this is the K-pop collection from ColourPop. Karuchi and ColourPop kind of teamed up and they created a beautiful collection. And of course, I had to buy almost everything from it. So I may have opened the package, but I only peeked inside. I didn't fully open any of the products. So this is gonna be as new for me as it is going to be for you guys. I want to open up the product, show you guys it, swatch it. This is going to be an unboxing, a first impression, a tutorial all in one. So you guys can see how they go on and a beautiful eye look that you guys create with it yourself. So before we start the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button before you forget because everybody loves new makeup, do they not? So I purchased the products on February 4th. That is the day that the collection launched. So I got the shipping confirmation the day after and then it took about 11 days to get to Canada. So it did take a little while but I kind of expected that living in Canada shipping stuff from the US usually does take a little bit longer than I would like. So the collection has three liquid lipsticks and three matching lip liners. The liquid lipsticks are $6 each and the lip liners are $5 each, US dollars. I decided not to go with the lip liners just because I own so many lip liners that I'm pretty positive that I can find some that work with these colors. And then I did purchase all of the liquid lipsticks that she came out with, Rouge, Chi, and K. And then she also came out with seven eyeshadows. Four of them are $5 each and then the remaining three are eight dollars each. So I purchased the little quad. This is what it comes in. It says ColourPop and then K-pop. Let's see what else we got in here. So in the package it comes with a cute note. This is from ColourPop. It says, hey love, if thank yous were snowflakes we'd send you a blizzard. So cute. There's another letter here. It says, for the beautiful, independent, free-spirited girl, let your light shine bright with love, Karuchi Tran. So that's really cute. They sent you a letter with it. So I purchased the four eyeshadows at $5 each. This is in the little K-pop quad. It comes with Sunset Boulevard, which is a pearlized texture, Beverly, which is a matte, Crenshaw, which is a matte, and Wilshire, which is a matte. So, so far, I am loving the colors. The texture is very creamy it feels kind of moist to the touch but they're extremely pigmented i mean i barely touched them at all they are mostly warm toned colors beverly is like the only bold kind of color in the uh, collection i'm really loving all of them i think that you can do a lot with them and i'm excited to do an eye demo with them to show you guys how they go on so now we have the liquid lipsticks i'm so excited to try these so i'm going to start lightest to darkest the lightest one is called Chi. So Chi is a cool tone nude beige. So I'm just gonna try it on here and see how it applies. It looks gorgeous. I feel like it looks really brown on me and on other people, maybe with a deeper skin tone, it might look more like a nude kind of color. It's beautiful. So my first impression with the first liquid lipstick I tried is that it goes on extremely smoothly. It's very, very creamy and then it doesn't dry instantaneously with some other liquid lipsticks, like I know the MAC liquid lipstick dries so quickly that it's really hard to get rid of any mistakes. Um, you should probably go first with the lip liner, but you can see I didn't even use a lip liner for this and it was super easy to apply. I got right into the cupid's bow, right into the corners of my mouth. And even when I did make a little mistake and kind of overline, I could easily wipe it off before it dried. So I'm really, really liking it. I can't really say to how long it's going to last throughout the day just because I just got it but uh, I can update the description for you guys. Another thing with this color is it can be an exact dupe for the Kylie Dolce K lip color. Now I'm just going to take it off and see how well it comes off with a makeup wipe. So that came off extremely easy. It did not stain my lips or anything like that, which I'm really liking. So next I'm gonna try on K. So K is described as a deep, warm, yellow brown. So I absolutely love this color. So K is definitely a little bit harder to get off than Chi, but it also does not stain the lips. So last but not least, we have Rouge, and this is it next to Chi and K. So Rouge is described as a deepened russet wine. Um, it dries about the exact same as the other ones. They're all very similar in the formulas. So this is Rouge on my lips. It feels amazing. And taking this one off now. So definitely the darker you go with the liquid lipsticks, the harder they are to take off but none of them have stained my lips, which I like. They're extremely easy to put on. They dry in a reasonable amount of time for you to get the product on your lips. And all in all, I'm extremely happy with these liquid lipsticks and the colors that I got. So moving on to the eye look. So first you wanna just prime your lids. I'm using MAC's Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So just place that all over the lid with a concealing brush. And then I'm gonna go in with Wilshire. I'm gonna be using MAC's 224 brush along my crease. And this is working as a beautiful transition shade because it's all matte and it's gonna do well to blend out 
and to diffuse any other darker colors that we go in with to give a nice smoky look. So now I'm gonna go in with Crenshaw with a 221 brush from MAC. So I'm gonna take this on the outer corner of my lid and along the crease. So I'm also gonna take Crenshaw just on the inner corner of my lid and just leave the center of the lid blank. And after that, I'm going in with Beverly. So this is the deep berry color from the collection. And I'm gonna be using Max 219 pencil brush. So this is going in just on the outer corner and just a little bit on the inner corner of your lid. Just going right around that blank spot in our lid to darken it up a little bit. Add some dimension. And I also just wanna use all the colors in the collection to show you guys. And just blend that out with Crenshaw. And now I'm just gonna go in with the Sunset Boulevard, which is the pearlized shadow. And this is gonna go right in the center of the lid where we left the gap. And I'm using a 224 brush. And this is just going to highlight the center of our lid. So now I'm just gonna blend the crease all together. And I'm gonna add a little bit more Beverly just to connect on the crease the two darker sides. I'm gonna use a 228 brush from MAC using Sunset Boulevard and the inner corner of my eye and on my brow bone. So now I'm done with using all four eyeshadows. I'm gonna use the Liquid Last Liner from MAC. Now I'm going in with Better Than Sex Mascara and close 105 lashes in black. So I'm just gonna throw those on. So lashes are on and now I'm just gonna smoke out the bottom lash with that pencil brush and I'm gonna use Beverly. So this is the finished eye look and I just paired it up with Chi. Hey guys so that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it all in all my opinion on this collection is that it's actually really really good quality for how inexpensive it was the liquid lipsticks i love all the colors although i'm sure a lip liner would make the liquid lipstick last a little bit longer if you're wearing one all underneath and the eyeshadows are extremely easy to blend out all the four colors that i got i find they all go really well together you can do a day look you can do a night look you can do a lot with those colors so if you did enjoy the video please hit that like button don't don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. That's it for now. Bye guys. Just working. You can clap. <laughs>